Hey what's up everyone, so in this video I will show you how to turn this simple vector logo into a stunning 3D mockup like this. So if you're a graphic or logo designer who have no 3D background but looking for a simple way to elevate your logo work and impress your clients, this video is for you. So let's get into it. Alright so here I am in Illustrator, so I'm going to export this uh, very simple Nike logo into a SVG format and hit OK and now we have this SVG file here and then we're going to import the SVG into Splice and for those of you who are not familiar with Splice it is a very simple and easy 3D tool that can give you the power to create stunning 3D artwork with just some simple clips and it's totally free so you can just download and use this right away so here I am in the Splice startup screen so I'm going to click here to create a new file Alright, so we have a new file here, so let's remove this default rectangle and I'm going to drag this SVG that we exported earlier into this and let's remove the white background layers and also uh, maybe get this layer out of the group so we only have a simple one simple layer like this. So now if you hold the option key and use the left mouse to drag around, you can change the camera angle like this. Uh, but if you're using PC, that would be the alternate key if I remember correctly. Alright, next, so with this layer selected, I'm going to go to the right panels and increase this extrusion value so we can turn this flat 2D shape into a 3D object. And then let's go down here to the material and change the color into uh, white like this. And if I turn on this lighting layer, it will add the highlight and the shadow into the 3D object. Alright, so next step, I'm going to add another layer into this material. So um, let's click here to switch this color channel into a matte cap channel. So this will give our 3D model a reflection like this. So you can click here to switch to a different type of reflection. Like something like this will be nice. So it looks like metal. Uh, so let's rotate this uh, logos minus 90 degrees and then let's create a plane uh, here and then just click anywhere and scale it bigger like this and move it down below the logo and then let's select the directional light here and then move it up so you can see how the shadows change the direction as we move the light so let's go with something like this and with the light selected, you can go to the right panels and adjust the intensities as well as the shadows properties. Like increase the size and the blurriness. Now let's change the color of the plane to something uh, a little bit darker like this. Alright, so now we're going to add some more detail to the material of the logo. So I'm going to create another channel for this material so let's click here and then switch this channel to image so we're going to load a texture image to this material so let's click here and add this metal texture to the materials and then let's change this blending mode from normal to overlay so the texture can blend into the material like this so now we have this very realistic looking with metal material so you can find these textures everywhere on the internet, just search for metal scrum texture or something. So next we're going to apply the same technique for the plane. So let's create another channel for the plane material and and you can even generate the texture by using AI. So let's uh, type anything here, like for example, like, like rough surface and just hit generate and wait for a few seconds and it will generate a texture for you uh, so yeah we have this pretty cool concrete textures so all you need to do is just try different prompts to see what the results can look like so after a few try uh, this is what I'm happy with uh, so now I'm going to adjust the texture scaling to make it a little bit smaller like this and then let's make sure to add a overlay blending mode to this layer so it can blend into the base color and let's reduce the intensity by 50 and then move it down below the lighting layer um, so it will be a little bit subtle like this and then let's go to the lighting channels and turn on this bump map and increase the shininess to 30 uh, so now you can see that it's create this roughness effect to the material and let's reduce the intensity by 2 uh, so we can have a very realistic looking leather texture like this 
Alright, so next I'm going to create another channel for this material and for this one, let's select Matcap uh, to add some reflection to the material and let's switch this uh, Matcap to uh, this one and then switch the blending mode to overlay and reduce the intensity by 20. Uh, so now if you move the camera angle, you can see how the reflection works. And then let's move the light direction to the corner like this so you can see how it's reflecting on the plane surface. And if you click anywhere on this empty area, you can open this scene setting. And in the lighting tab, let's reduce the intensity of the environment lighting so we can increase the contrast of scene. Uh, maybe let's move the logo up a little bit so we can have the shadows a little bit more prominent. Uh, so yeah, I think this is looking pretty cool. So once you're happy with the result, you can click on export and go to the image tab. And you can increase the resolution by adjusting the ratio here. So let's select 2 and then just click export. And that's it. It's very simple. So, and you can even export to a mp4 video. So let me just go back here to make a quick animation uh, by just simply selecting the light, directional light that we have here. And then go to the state tab and click on this plus button. So it will give you this two state, base state and state. So for the base states, let's leave it like this. And for the state selected, I'm going to move this light to this position. So we have the two state like this. And then let's go to the event tab and create a start event. And with this one, let's select transition and click here. And we're going to transition from base state to state for four seconds. And perhaps let's use the linear animation. And make sure to turn on this uh, infinite looping and for the cycle i'm going to go with ping pong so now let's just hit play and preview the animation so now we have this really cool animation of the lights uh, swiping by like this and from here you can click on this export buttons and select video recordings and just click start and hit this record buttons and you can see it is start recording the animations. So whenever you want to stop, just click here to stop and it will automatically process and export the video for you. So that's it, it's very simple. All right, so lastly, I'm going to show you a very cool feature that will bring this to the next level. So let's click on this little icon here and select this AI style feature. And let's click here to get started. And with this feature, you can generate the current 3D scene to various styles using AI. So uh, let's adjust the canvas to uh, full HD uh, like this and zoom in a little bit so we can have it. And then you can select any of these styles uh, right here. So let's just select this for example and then just wait for it to process for a few seconds. And then boom, we have this really cool abstract AI generated style based on your logo scene and you can try with a lot of these options here to experiment with different results and you can even add more details by just typing any kind of prompt to help direct the styling uh, so yeah something like this so it's really fun to experiment with different prompt and stylings and then it's pretty amazing how the result come out so you can click on this export button to save it as a PNG or JPEG. Alright, so that's how you can turn a 2D vector logo into a stunning 3D mockup. So this is the end of my tutorial today. So I hope you find this one helpful and I will see you in the next one.